These past few days have been very difficult for me. I've been going through a lot of self-doubt, a lot of anxious thoughts, and a lot of restlessness. So I've been trying to get out of this rut that I've been in. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of a full moon cleanse or a full moon reset, but basically every full moon you reflect on what happened, what didn't happen, and what you want to manifest. You don't have to be spiritual to understand this or bring this into your life, but it is basically a form of a monthly reset and a chance for you to reflect on what happened, what you could do better, and what you did great. My mood affects a lot of my reactions and my daily experiences. So I decided to sit down after that full moon cleanse and take initiative. Now I am planning to change how I feel throughout the day so I can start to manifest all that I want and ultimately just become a better version of myself and get out of this rut. I decided to partake in activities that make me feel happy, worthy, and powerful, which is really important. So instead of waiting for something to happen, I want to start my days with intention. I've noticed that when I'm happy and cheerful, everything can feel like a breakthrough moment. However, when I feel sad and stagnant, I believe things aren't as good as they could be. So I am simply choosing to shift my perspective on my daily activities and experiences, kind of like romanticizing my life. It is pretty early in the morning and notice whenever I'm really creative, uh, it really does make me feel good and it makes me feel productive. So I listen to this podcast because it's like basically daily affirmations, which is something I really need, especially in the beginning of the day because I also want to set up my day with intention and I have noticed a huge difference when I wake up and get up when I plan to. But I'm also going to write in my journal, which is new, and start a to-do list. Now usually I don't care much for to-do lists. I feel like I'm a very, very laid back, chill person. I've always wanted to get into them, but I haven't really gotten the discipline to stick with it. Every time I do a to-do list, I kind of feel bad about myself because I'm like, oh, it's literally the same thing every time. But small things that like change up your day and make you feel like you're doing something new makes a huge difference for me personally. Find new things to get into, like reading a book for an hour or going grocery shopping, stuff like that, going to the coffee shop to study. I'm gonna reuse the last couple pages just to test out if I really do like writing my to-do list because I don't wanna, you know, do these things and then get bored of it because I always do. And I have tried using my phone to plan. Mm, I don't know, technology, as convenient as it is, it doesn't really hit. You know, you know, taking the time to grab the pen and write down all these things and then looking back at it at the end of the day makes me feel a lot better. The reason why I wanted to start a to-do list is because I wanted my days to have a little bit more meaning. Usually I just get up, do whatever I want, do whatever comes up in my mind. But when I have a to-do list, I feel like I actually have a purpose during the day and I'm trying to achieve something. Don't you like coffee or tea? What's really been helping me physically get out of bed is making my morning matcha or my morning coffee. It's kind of like a ritual now, which I appreciate. But now I am also trying to eat my pre-workout meal a little bit earlier, around 9 a.m. so I can go to the gym or so I can work out around 10 a.m. This just helps me feel more motivated, makes me feel like I'm wasting less time sitting around, waiting to move, and overall, it's just nice to get in a little snack. Today was originally supposed to be my rest day, however I still went to the gym because I wanted to move around a little bit and I wanted to train the booty a little bit more. I forgot my resistance band at home so I had to kind of improvise and play around with the free weights but this has been so far probably my best session I've had in a really long time but ultimately I just felt like I was having so much fun at the gym. I could feel myself getting lost in the workout, lost in the music, really trying to push myself with the free weights because it has been quite a long time since I've used them. And I was trying out different moves, experimenting, filming, and I just had a really fun time because I'm slowly getting more confident in the gym again and also just filming in the gym overall. So I'm really happy about my progress. I'm really happy about what I'm doing. And I just had a really, really fun day. I'm not afraid of
I just got back from the gym. I'm feeling really, really good, and I can feel my bum starting to be a little sore. That's a good sign that I've done enough. I'm gonna make some matcha pancakes. I saw this recipe on Instagram from Fernandez. Um, Remy, I forgot her last name, but she's actually one of my favorite YouTubers. She's so positive and so fun. So I'm gonna copy her recipe that she got from another YouTuber and try that recipe out. I'm not gonna lie, instead of using the actual recipe, I just used leftover pancake mix and added matcha in there. Honestly, it's just a lot easier and I can trust the taste of the buttermilk. If you guys know what I'm talking about, the Aunt Jemima package. So I went ahead and made the pancakes and they were really good. There was definitely a hint of matcha there. I probably could have added more, but eh, whatever. I also wanted to add some blueberries, but my sister ate all of it, so it was literally just matcha butter and maple syrup which wasn't bad at all these pancakes they're an interesting color they kind of <laughs> reminded me of shrek After we came back from the gym, my sister and I decided to go to the library to return the books that we rented out a couple weeks ago. Ever since I rented out the body positivity book, which is called I Do It With The Lights On, I've been really enjoying reading and listening to audiobooks and podcasts. It's kind of like a new way for me to learn something new, stimulate my brain, but most of all, I just love how it makes me use my imagination and brings me to a different world, it calms me down, and it gets rid of all my worries and lets me just take a second to relax. from the library and when i came home all my ikea stuff was at the door which is really exciting i got a bookcase and then a couple shelves what i want to do is replace that lamp because i hate it um, i don't even use it and i feel like it looks so awkward in my room especially when i'm filming so i'm gonna replace it with it's supposed to look something like this before i ask my dad for help i kind of want to put it together myself as much as i can so i'm gonna put these little blocks onto the long part of the shelf and see how that works i've never built anything from ikea but i heard it's a complete nuisance i am not a handy person i don't think i will ever be but we will see hopefully this works out i'm hoping i won't be a total frustrated mess
everyone it is a new day as you can see i set up the shelf i'm really really excited about it i will show you what i have so far i'm putting my camera stuff here so i can like quickly grab it and go i have my unused notebooks and journals as you can see they're still in the plastic still waiting for the day where i can open them up and use them so i'm putting it here for decorations in the meantime here i have all my used notebooks this one thank you next this one then here are the books i have it's like a mini bookshelf i have these two from the thrift store i bought the atomic habits a couple days ago i also got this book called acid test from the library yesterday this is talking about lsd ecstasy and how it helps with our mind and our psyche and how it can help us rather than damage us i took a drugs and behavior class back in university and that was one of my favorite classes i did learn a lot about the background story of different drugs um the benefit it has for us and obviously the consequences it has but i am such a huge fan of learning about hallucinations and how it relates to the psyche and how it can also relate to spirituality and the other world so i'm really really excited to read this i'm just gonna put this back up here to fill up these two shelves i want it to be more of like a decoration so i have a candle i have my affirmation cookie jar and then like a random Marc Jacobs perfume and then I have my humidifier here because I don't really use it anymore so I'm just going to put it at the top just to bring it a little bit more balance today is a new day i'm continuing on with the daily to-do list i didn't really do all the things i wanted to yesterday for valid reasons i didn't want to spend money or i didn't find it necessary anymore so i wrote another to-do list however at the very bottom i basically wrote a mini paragraph of my intentions for today and positive affirmations so that i can you know get hyped up for today hopefully that works i'm seeing if i will actually stick to this to-do list but yeah that is my day today um i don't have really too much to do i don't think i ever do but i'm gonna try and do some reading and do some editing and more filming and see how it goes I am back from the gym. I went for a little swim and after that I put on a hair mask because I totally forgot that chlorine is really bad for your hair. So as soon as I got home, I just went ahead and moisturized. I'm having a little bit of my matcha and I'm also like watching a vlog right now. I got this desk at HomeSense. It's really cute. It has this little cup holder thing. I have my phone. I can also put it here. Unfortunately, it can't fit either, but apparently you could put like iPads here. And so far it has been doing so much for me. I feel so productive when I use it. I feel comfortable, which is really nice because whenever I work on my bed or like on my couch in my living room, I always get lower back pain. Because of this desk, I have been working nonstop for a couple days. I've been working like six hours straight sitting on my bed. Getting the right tools, the proper tools will definitely help you. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that is my speaker. And I put on an audiobook but lately i have been listening to game of thrones honestly not to be dramatic but this desk has really been helping me feel a lot better about what i'm doing my work ethic and so on so i have showered i've gotten ready because i'm gonna go out with my friend this will be the end of the video it's been about three days since i've tried to start my days with intention i've been doing the to-do list for three days i've been trying to spice it up every now and then i want to do new activities that make me feel good about myself i have noticed a difference in how i feel i've noticed that my thoughts have been a little bit more kind easier to control my thoughts thank god self-compassion has come a little bit easier these days that's basically a look into how i want to start my days with intention obviously it's not an overnight thing i need to work with this for at least a couple months i mean so far so good it's only been three days and i feel decent <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna head out but i just wanted to say goodbye say thank you for watching and i will see you on monday Bye.